Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a rather large Death Watch force. It's been completed by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege. It's been a great project to work on with loads of great models, as I said. So without further ado, let's dive on in at all the different models and have a look at this great force. See you in a sec. Hey guys, so I thought we'd start off with just all the infantry because uh, there's quite a lot in this Death Watch Army Commission and some great poses. All the models are going to be based uh, by the client in this commission, that's why none of the basing has been done. Uh, so I'm going to put forward uh, quite a few of the models just so you can have a look at them. We'll start off with some of the Terminators uh, that are just here at the front, so just get these to focus for you. So as you can see here, full detail, full highlighting, all the different accents on the red, just a nice transition from a darker red to a lighter red there on the shoulder pad. Uh, all the purity seals all picked out, all the gems, lenses, blood drops, as you can see they're all picked out even on the back of the models all, all the way around no aspect of detail has been missed at all whatsoever uh, so that's just one of the terminators you can see there pull forward to space wolf one uh, so you can have a look at him and you see all the faces multiple highlighted with different areas of detail and highlighting on different muscle structures on the face um, and then obviously you can see all the bone work has all been sort of highlighted again these really silver arms really really stand out we put a nice blue glaze in some of the areas just to really make that silver sort of pop as well and as you can see there some of the death watch molded shoulder pads space wolf one there as you can see nice horn there has got all the sort of uh, different marks on it as well as you can see there's just a different grain on the horn and the bone as you can see there uh, so that's just the space wolf terminator uh, before the dark Angel one really menacing uh, with a hooded head as you can see uh, great, great model again uh, all the posing and work has been done by the client as well so all these intricate poses and different poses and character for sort of looks have been done by the client um, and then we'll pull forward some of the Vanguard vets forward so you can have a look uh, again just another one here just one of the Blood Angels Maximus helmet as you can see there um, and again full highlighting full detail work the black has really subtly been edged as well just to give it a really menacing sort of matte kind of look as well uh, again you can see all the gems and all the different details all picked out as you can see there this one's a minotaur i believe uh pull forward a few more it's a raptor get that to focus for you guys uh, again you can see even on the on the lenses on the marines helmet all picked out point of light source white dot back of the lens multiple transitional colors through the lens you can see there uh, even all the little screens all picked out you've got the thrust jet glow that's been done uh, again as you move around here as you can see uh, so that's just another one of the Vanguard Vets. Pull forward the Ultramarine one, just to so have a look at him. Uh, again, as you can see there, all the gold work, filigree, all those areas all picked out. As you can see, same effect throughout on all of these uh, Death Watch Marines, all painted to the same standard. Uh, again, that's another one. Pull forward the Raven Guard. So you can have a look at him, get that to focus. Corvus pattern helmet as well. Uh, really like the silver silver accent colour on Death Watch. I think it really makes the models characterful, gives them a different kind of look as well, which is really nice. Uh, again, as you can see, all the sort of sashes and things, all multiple picked out uh, with all different highlights, as you can see there. Um, then we'll pull forward a few of the normal uh, normal Death Watch Marines as well. So we'll start with Dark Angel Sergeant. Oh, I say Sergeant, but he looks like a Sergeant. So we'll start with him. Let lens on his face has all been done, multiple highlighted. You've got a nice Death Watch symbol there on the knee pad that's been free handed. Um, really nice green shoulder pad there with some brighter point where the highlighting would be, obviously be, naturally be. You can see all the details have all been picked out, all highlighted there as you can see. So that's just one of the normal Death Watch Marines. Pull forward a few more so you can have a look. This is just one of the uh, normal reg reg uh, regular veterans and you can see the power cable there all sort of highlighted as well, picked out with a nice uh, sort of chevron pattern on the power cable as you can see there. All the faces again all perfectly picked out, all eyes, lenses, teeth, all those different things all picked out as you can see there. So it's just another one of the Death Watch veterans, another Minotaur there. Uh, pull forward another gent here with power fist, quite immense in pose. Uh, as you can see there, the lens on the backpack is all picked out as well. Uh, all the rivets all picked out. You've got a nice free handed Death Watch symbol on the, on the knee pads there, as you can see. Uh, and again, all different areas of detail all picked out. So there's nothing left, no expense spared. Uh, and then we'll pull some from the back. Uh, we'll start with uh, just the, one of my favourite ones, which is just this Blood Angel Sergeant, as you can see here. All the facial details, as you can see, they're all picked out. You've got the power cable all picked out. Um, all different screens and things, multiple edging as you can see there, just to really get show the brightest points on the armor. Really picked out. We tried to go for a really menacing kind of matte kind of like super super sort of like minimalist kind of look on these, just because they are very very sort of uh, stealthy if you think on the way they deploy and their background and what they do, the types of missions they carry out. Uh, blue glaze there on the blade as well, just give it a nice blue sheen as well, even though it's metallic. Uh, and then we'll pull forward uh, the centerpiece of the, all the infantry, which is uh, the banner that's been completed by Jonas here at Siege. And I'll just get you to get that to focus for you. So it's completely freehand custom banner, um, Talisar Prime, which is the, uh, the world I believe that the client wanted his Death Watch Force to be from. 
uh, or based on, so to speak. You've got a really nice cloak there with a nice transitional colour. Uh, it shows all the folds and all the highlights and bright areas you can see. You've got a nice glazed blade there again, um, and really menacing sort of uh, pose. And even the lenses and everything all picked out on him as well, as you can see there. Uh, and obviously he's an ultramarine as well. So that's just the banner. Probably one of my favourite bits of this uh, of this force. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll pull forward a few more just so I can have a look. So we'll start off with this black templar here at the back uh, and get him to focus. So again, very menacing as you can see there, and obviously integration of the black templar kit pieces as well as you can see. Uh, but all the details fully fully picked out throughout the force. No expense has been spared. Uh, lovely, lovely models to work on. And the good thing with the Deathwatch Army is the amount of character that you can have uh, in this force just by made by all different chapters that you can pull your veterans from, which is really nice. Uh, so again, lovely commission, loads of great models, um, pull forward a few more just so you can have a quick look at some of them, get Fred Cannon forward as well in a second, so as you can see their face all picked out, a flesh terror, again you can see the uh, power cable all picked out there, a nice chevron pattern that's all been sort of free handed on the model, um, and a nice blended, uh, sorry glazed sort of blade there, so you've got a nice like a purplish kind of glaze on that sword as well there, so that's him. Uh, and then pull forward uh, a couple of the frag cannons just so you can have a look at those. Uh, I know they're very popular in Death Watch armies. And again, as you can see here, all multiple highlighted, all the gold work, silvers, all picked out. Really nice, vibrant yellow there on the shoulder pad for this Imperial Fist. Free handed Death Watch symbol there, or Death Watch marking there on the knee pad as well. Uh, but that's just uh, that's just all the infantry that have been done. I hope you like them, guys. Uh, it'd be really great to work on. And uh, to get that to focus, so you've got a final shot of all the infantry. And uh, coming up next, we've got uh, some vehicles uh, for you guys to have a look at. So stick around for that eye candy. I'll see you back in a second. Hey guys, so to finish off this Death Watch Army Commission video, we're just going to round up with all the vehicles of this force. Uh, we've got uh, two normal rhinos that can be converted into Razorbacks. All the uh, top plates are interchangeable, so they can be moved around and changed into different uh, different vehicles, if that makes sense. Uh, and then you've also got the uh, Games Workshop Head Office Limited Edition Space Marine Tanks. So you've got the, uh, the Rhino or the Command Rhino and also the Command uh, Land Raider as well. Uh, two Corvus Black Stars, and then we've got a cheeky drop pod just at the back as well. Uh, so we'll pull forward all these models so you can have a look at them. We'll start with some of the Rhinos, just so you can have a look at these. Uh, again, these are fully convertible, so they can be changed into Razorbacks. Got some nice stonework effect there done on the um, on the doors. So these are the Forge World doors. Uh, again, you've got the, the tank drive old command there on top. All the details have been picked out. Loads of transfers have been applied to these models as well. As you can see, all the little individual details on the back have been completed and filled in as well, all the writing, as you can see there. Uh, you've got every single edge all picked out as well, some chipping as well, some nice metallic chipping to go on the black as well, which is nice. Um, overall, all the aspects of details, even on the uh, little cupola here, you've got the uh, little buttons on the um, on the door as well, picked out as well, as well as all the lenses and gems all picked out. So that's just one of the rhinos. Uh, same again on this one, so it's exactly the same. We'll pull forward the command rhino so you can have a look at that. Again, this is a, a limited edition, well not limited edition, it's a specialist model that's only available from Warhammer World. Uh, the client ordered that in uh, to, to have that added to this Death Watch Force. And as you can see there, all different areas of detail, all picked out, lights, all different, uh, the uh, nice sort of um, uh, front armoured panel details here from Forge World have all been picked out as well, with nice corresponding colours. thought the Knight's nice Crest here would be done nice and nice green as well, which is really cool. Um, You've got obviously a, pla a, pis uh, a plasma pintail mount there on this uh, on Rhino as well. Uh, you've got the really weird sort of energy reactor thing, a little servo skull there just on the back. All the full draw door aspects and details have been picked out as you can see there. Uh, so that's just the command, uh, command Rhino. I'm going to move these to the side and just pull forward a couple of the other models as well, just so you can uh, have a look at those a bit closer up as well. Let's get this to focus. So we'll pull forward the Land Raider first of all. The Land Raider has got quite a bit of magnetising done to it, so all the corresponding parts are actually magnetised. You can take off all of the, the command section here on top as well. Uh, they uh, It completely comes off and it's uh, fully magnetised as per the client's request, so that, that way he can uh, just obviously change it around. Um, pull forward this just so you can have a look. So the Tank Commander to focus as you can see all the flesh work all picked out all the crest all multiple highlighted the little ropes that he's got across his chest all multiple highlighted the uh, pistol holster his waist has all been picked out with nice edging as well um, all the gold work multiple highlighted the haft of his little stick as well has all been sort of uh, highlighted and picked out just get to focus a little bit better for you 
Um, it's a tiny little thing to pick up, but as you can see there, all multiple highlights. Even the little lens on his uh, on his face has all been highlighted as well, which is really nice. So he just goes back on there, and he's magnetised as well in place. So he literally just clips back in. There you go, he's all in. Um, so all the uh, last cam sponsors here on the on the Land Raider are fully uh, magnetised as well. So you can basically just take them off and replace them. All the lenses all picked out, multiple po points of light source as well. Uh, they all move obviously as you'd expect. Uh, again, every single aspect of it is all magnetised, so it just literally will stay together. Um, and as you can see, it's really cool because it's got a grav cannon here on the front mount and as well as you can see there. If you haven't ever seen this model in the, in, in the flesh, it's uh, got a lot more detail done to it than a normal Land Raider. As you can see there, all the purity seals and everything picked out, all the death watch upgrade bits have all been sort of um, sort of been picked out as well. All the little extra details have all been highlighted and picked out as well as you can see there. And uh, all the banners and everything as you can see just on the back um, have all been sort of multiple highlighted there as well, which is really nice. Um, really lovely model. Land Raiders stood the test of time. It's uh, still very, very much uh, a very, very good model from, from Games Workshop. Uh, so that's just the Land Raider. Um, I'll pull that to one side just so you can start having a look at the uh, Corvus Black Stars. So the bases for these are studio bases, so they're just ones we're using just for the video purposes. Uh, these are fully magnetised as well, so all the aspects are magnetised, which allow the change of the weapons, as you can see here. So these are all just done just so that, that way uh, they can be changed per the client request. Really nice sort of glazes, some purple and blue just on the canopies, just to give them a nice metal kind of look as well, uh, which is really cool. Um, you've got all the lenses and everything all picked out on them, as you can see there. And as we move around, some nice sort of subtle sort of leading edge sort of chipping as well on the front of the uh, the wing or the flying wing, as you can see there, just to show sort of debris and detritus that's hit that or picked been picked up on. On that uh, and then moving around as you can see all the areas of detail fully picked out fully highlighted and uh, a lovely lovely model with all the transfers and everything done so that's just one of them even the little lenses on top of the canopy have all been picked out as well pull forward the other one so you can have a look at that one as well uh, both exactly the same um, so they're fully fully detailed um, and as you can see just move around different missiles on this one but these are changeable as well we've got the other missiles that are fully available to be used on the models um, again, really cool model. When we first saw it, I thought it looked great. As I say, it's really stealthy, very in keeping with the Death Watch uh, army feel, as you'd expect. Uh, but overall, lovely model. And then uh, we'll just pull forward the, uh, the drop pod so you can have a look at the, uh, the details inside of that. Um, so you can just have a look. Uh, again, the outside, fully, fully sort of chipped and, and sort of given the really sort of uh, well-used look that you expect from a drop pod. Uh, and then just pull, pull that in so you can have a look at this a bit better. Um, so again, all the details all picked out. You've got a nice chevron in there on the doors uh, as they come down. And then the view screen on the inside has got like a city block um, that's been put onto it with some blips and contacts and things as you can see in there. So really, really detailed, no expense spared. Uh, all of the uh, pipes and things all picked out, all the buttons all picked out as well uh, for the client as well. So that's just the drop pod. So uh, I hope you like the Army Commission, guys. It's been uh, it's been a great one to work on. Uh, loads and loads of great models and some really cool models that you don't typically see, like, for example, the uh, limited edition Command uh, Command Land Raider, as you can see there. And uh, like I said, it's been a really lovely project. Ben's had a great time working on it. And uh, if you are interested in the commission, uh, then please, please, Visit our website, fill in a contact form that's just on there. Um, please answer all the drop down boxes and select in there. Don't really need to put too much about colours and things in the actual um, in the actual description of the message. That's more for sort of just giving us numbers and types of units and things that you are looking to get commissions. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a message through there as well. I hope you like the video, guys. It's been a great one. Thanks guys for watching the video, it's been great to show you all the cool models in this Death Watch army. I hope you've liked what you've seen and all the eye candy. Uh, as always, all the links to all of our social media can be found in the description of this video below. Uh, also the link to our website. If you are interested in a commission, be it a character, troops, tanks, infantry, whatever the case may be, uh, please feel free to head to our website, check out all the images on our gallery, read through all the stuff about obviously what we do as a business here at Siege and uh, go to the contact tab and just fill out a contact form, send that through to get the quote process started. Um, I hope you liked the video guys. As always, please like, please comment and please subscribe. We do really appreciate it and having you guys check out all the different things that we produce as a studio. Uh, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, bye bye.